Other news today, Barbie continues to break box office records, but despite all the bubbly pink fun, the movie's become a target of some right-wing personalities. They say it lacks family values and promotes, quote, toxic femininity. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Ken. It's Barbie backlash. Some conservatives are going so far as to call the blockbuster movie man-hating. What are you doing here? I'm coming with you. Right-wing columnist Ben Shapiro is torching the film, literally, setting Barbie dolls on fire. It is one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Elon Musk complains, if you take a shot every time Barbie says the word patriarchy, you will pass out before the movie ends. Republican Representative Matt Gates and his wife Ginger dressed up in pink when they saw the movie, but they sure changed their tune after the screening. I think the movie should be boycotted. They absolutely write off men as useless, as unintelligent. So cool. On The View today, Whoopi Goldberg mocked the backlash. It's Our a movie! <laughs> <laughs> it's a movie about a doll! This opinion piece in the New York Times compares Barbie's weekend box office to Taylor Swift's hugely successful concert tour. There is a huge underserved market for entertainment that takes the feelings of girls and women seriously. And on the subject of Barbie, everyone wants to know, are Ken's abs real or are they a special effect? Our Allison Hall spoke to David Higgins, who trained actor Ryan Gosling and all the Barbies and Kens on the film. I sort of separated both the Barbies into one camp and the Kens into another camp. He says the Kens would focus on strength and conditioning work including pull-ups and push-ups. Ryan Gosling looked amazing. Was that six-pack real? Everything is real in Barbie land, oddly. He worked really, really hard. Hi, Ken. Margot Robbie reportedly made $12.5 million to play Barbie. That puts her on the list of the highest-earning actresses of the year.